right, welcome back to the race course. How did the move come about? Um, I spoke to Keatsy um, earlier in the in the year, and you know, he, he, having played with him before, I think he knows, you know, obviously he knows what what I can do, and um, I think obviously a lot's changed since I was last here. Um, so you know, as soon as uh, as soon as I knew that there was interest from the club and you know from from Dean, it was uh, it was a bit of a no brainer really. See. So you- I said you've played with Dean before, Jay Harris here as well. It's getting the band back together in the midfield, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, almost. Yeah, like like you say, I've uh, having been in, involved in a squad with Dean. You know, I know that he's a winner, um, and you know he's he's obviously going to be looking to to add those players to the squad. And you know, there's uh, there isn't a, a bigger a bigger winning mentality than than a player than you know Jay Harris. So um, it's great to be back, and, and like I say, I'm just looking forward to get going now. It is a bit of a cliche, but unfinished business for you here. Um, I think in in it in in some light it could be. Um, you know, I think I think so. But I think a lot of a lot of people will will appreciate that. You know, when I was here, since the last time I was here, you know, I've gone away, I've worked hard, and you know, I've I've made a success where I've been, and you know, that's something that I just want to bring back here now. And um, you know, having won this league a couple of seasons ago, it would. Uh, it would be great to, to come here and do it with the you know with the, the first club that gave him my my opportunity in the pro game. After you've mentioned your success since then, for Wrexham wasn't the case last season. Is there a big ambition then to be part of that team that builds and massively improves on that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I came here, I came here a couple of years ago with 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 those ambitions. Um, it, it, like you know, it didn't quite work out as 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 we would have liked. Um, I think there's been a, a couple of seasons where you know he just missed out in, in playoffs and things like that, and, and obviously last season, you know, when when Dean came in, he uh, he steadied the ship and you know steered, steered the club clear of where you know I, I think that I don't think they should be, you know. So this season, you know, um, we're going to be looking to you know to really put a, put a strong squad together, and um, you know, hopefully, I can be part of a squad that you know, like you say, gets this club there. Uh, Back to where they where they should be. Obviously, for you personally, it was complete opposite last season. Much more success. How important is that in terms of building going forward for you personally? Yeah, you know, obviously it stands you in good stead. Um, you know, it's always good to be part of a, of, a, of a successful team. And um, you know, like I say, it's just a, men, a mentality that you come with. You know, I've been fortunate enough to to um, you know generally where I've been, I've been in successful teams, and you know, I've obviously been a big part of of those successful teams. So. Um, I think that's I think that's vital. Um, you know, I can bring bring a lot of experience to, to the squad, uh, as well as a uh, you know I'm, I'm still at an age where I've still got burning ambitions to go and play as, as high as I can. So, if like I say, if I can do that with them, with with Wrexham, with them being the first you know the the, the first club that gave me my, my professional opportunity, it would mean a great deal to me. Is there a different feeling coming back to a club as opposed to new signing, or is it very much the same? You've got to restart back from the bottom, if you like. Yeah, I, I think you can look at it two ways, but for me, um, it's just important I hit the ground running, you know. Um, I want to sort of carry on my form from, from where I finished a couple of weeks ago. Um, and, and like I say, I'm just really looking forward to getting going and getting back out and playing in, in front of the, the, you know, the passionate fans. And, and like I say, hopefully we can, um, we can give them something to cheer about this season. Obviously, the last few months have been a bit different for you in that you had the playoffs coming up. But how have you kept fit? What have you been up to during that time? Yeah, so t- to be fair, the, the you know the manager at um, at Altingham was, was 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 right on us all through lockdown. You know, it, there was um, for as long as we had a sort of sniff that the playoffs there was a chance the playoffs were going to get played. You know, we were um, we were running, we were running a couple of times a week, and you know we had to report that and send that in so you know I've, I've obviously kept myself ticking over there and we've been in for we were in for probably four or five weeks prior to uh, the playoffs so you know it's um, I'm in good shape um, obviously I've had a, a week or so off now but um, you know I'll be looking at getting going as soon as I can again and um, like I say it's just about hitting the ground running.